नमो अरिहंताण नमो सिद्धाण नमो आयिर्याण नमो वज्जायाण नमो लोय सवसाहूण टुडे इज द वॉइस ऑफ फॉरगिवनेस क्षमावाणी पर्व बिफोर वॉइसिंग फॉरगिवनेस वी नीड टू फॉरगिव फ्रॉम अवर हार्ट्स बिकॉज द वॉइस दैट कम्स फ्रॉम हार्ट गोज through the hearts to the hearts the voice spoken from the mouth goes to the ears the voice spoken from the heart reaches the hearts the current condition of this universe especially भरत क्षेत्र आर्यखंड वेर वी आर वी पीपल आर लिविंग नीड्स हीलिंग दिस वर्ल्ड रियली 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 नीड्स हीलिंग हीलिंग इज ओनली पॉसिबल वेन the healer has three attributes and the first attribute is forgiveness how can you heal someone without forgiving him the first attribute is forgiveness the second one is love unconditional pure love and the third one is compassion you contemplate about it you think about it you concentrate upon this meditate upon this forgiveness love compassion compassion means kindness towards every being all living beings many of them have deviated that their own path they have ruined themselves in company of evil they can also change nothing is impossible we can all sit in a light circle light circle means placing the left hand on your left knee sitting like this in this position and right with the palm upwards the left palm the left palm will be like this no we are ourselves confused now repeat it in a light circle the left hand is the receiving hand and the right hand is the giving hand so we sit like this and another healer sits there besides us and he places his right hand over our left hand like this 
he gives energy here and then we give energy through our right hand to a healer sitting beside us on our right side and then in such a way a circle is formed it depends on the number of your family members and your friends all healers they can make a small or a big circle and then just we have to contemplate within ourselves i forgive every being whosoever has harmed me whosoever have harmed others i forgive them all i have unconditional love towards every living being no harsh feelings no grudges i am free they are free i ask for forgiveness i give forgiveness i have love everyone unconditionally i am compassionate towards all living beings just like i experience pain they too experience pain let the world be pain free like this when a light circle is formed and in the center you place something and declare that this is such and such person or is such and such thing such and such area for example you place a small box in the center of that right circle and then declare that this box for some time this box is that affected area of human beings or we can also declare that this box is some human being and let all the healing energy which is coming out from the hearts of every member of the circle reach him and heal all his ailments problems traumas stresses tensions fears etc after some time we will all feel some warmth some divinity we will feel better towards ourselves we are all healers and if this per- process is performed for a week or a fortnight or 3 weeks and maximum 4 weeks many of the ailments many of the mental disorders many of the emotional traumas are released and that patient is healed 
perfectly. And you can also use cleansing methods that are found in many books. How to cleanse your aura. Our auras are many times polluted by some low energy contacts. Everything will be okay. I am well, they are well, or are well. I am free, they are free, all are free. I am healthy, they are healthy, all are healthy. I forgive, they forgive, all forgive. This is not just spoken forgiveness. This is forgiveness from the heart which has come through the mouth in form of words. We are all human beings. We all commit mistakes. Mistakes are for improvement and to be forgiven. Crimes are punishable, not mistakes. Mistakes are to be improved. If human beings don't commit mistake, how can they improve them and become better persons? In the great war, war of Ramayana, in the Ram Ravan Yudh, When everything was over, when Ravan was finished, some of the warriors asked Sri Ram, what should we do with this body of Ravan? Should we insult it? Should we dishonor it? Sri Ram said, no. A enemy, an enemy is an enemy as long as he is alive. We cannot be an enemy of a dead person. Ravan is dead. So we won't do any dishonorable activity. His body should be given to Vibhishan, the future Lankesh, the king of Lanka. This is called Kshama. This is called forgiveness. We are not sticking to some anger any longer. What has happened has happened. It is all over now. We can only continue it in our minds. But in existence that has passed away and the past is dead. The present is living, the future is unborn. We don't have to blame anybody. We don't have to shame anybody. We don't have to claim anything. We just need to forgive each other 
stay with love be compassionate and become good healers better healers and then ultimately the best healers actually the world at present requires the best healers and that is not impossible pujya muni kshama sagar ji used to say that if your hands have vertical lines like this in the fingers this phalange just touching the palm of the hand if there are vertical lines and they count 19 then you can be a splendid healer any medicine you give to someone will work fantastically if you just help somebody with headache you put your hands like this you press the points he will feel healed this is one thing 99 lines cannot be available in everybody's hands but never mind we can still be healers this group healing is a very wonderful process from the right hand we give energy from the left hand we take energy there is a light circle a light moving continuously round and round and round and round and from our hearts the compassionate energy touches the central object which we have placed in the form of a box and declared someone there who needs healing it may be a whole hospital too the our healings will definitely do its work and what happens when we give healing there are two conditions any disorder any disease any uneasiness is caused by energy depletion or energy congestion you know depletion means there is a dent in your energy field and congestion means there is a swelling in your energy field healing energy just levels them both if there is a dent it fills it if there is a congestion it levels it and the instant your field is healed you feel healthy all uneasiness uneasiness is gone sometimes we need medicines sometimes we need uh, energized water sometimes we need charged objects like uh, a pendant or some gem or some crystals or such other things all healing is energy so you can remember this thing that when we feel uneasy when we feel diseased when we feel unhappy unhealthy definitely there is some dent or congestion in your auric field it may be internal it may be extrinsic there are seven layers they say nowadays in holistic healing our aura comprises of seven layers of energy and that dent or congestion can be anywhere it can be in the third layer it can be in the first layer it can be in the seventh layer also but when we heal when our intentions are pure and when we just direct the energy in such a way that oh divine energy please perform the healing 
that is needed and that is for the highest good of this patient the energy will do its work we cannot manipulate energy we cannot control energy we can just direct energy and that healing will be performed it may take some days if the acceptance is low it takes time and if the patient is fully accepting all the energy then the healing is very fast and if the healers are very pure the healing is long term healing and if they are not very cleansed the healing requires more sessions and the disease may manifest again so healers are very responsible people in this universe they need to be pure themselves they need to be forgiving they need to be loving they need to be con- compassionate remember these three attributes nothing else you need to remember these are sufficient i forgive everyone khammaami sav jeevanam sabve jeeva khamandu me let every being forgive me mitti me sab bhudesu i have a friendly feeling towards all living beings veeram majjhun nakinavi i have no feelings of revenge towards anybody this is real kshama vani this is real voice of forgiveness jainam jayatu shasana